Well, hello there, everyone on the interwebs. My name is Dan, and I am the pastor uh, here with the Village Church in Stevensville. Uh, we want to welcome you to our online gathering this morning. Uh, some people have really been asking for the return of the filtered video announcements. So here we go. So I'm excited for this coming Wednesday, August 26th. Uh, come by the church building for our in-person guided prayer exercise uh, and a chance to hear about how God has been working and speaking to you and a chance to um, share prayer requests too to be praying for each other. So bring a lawn chair or blanket and we will en just enjoy the time together. The prayer exercise will still be online for anyone unable to come in person. You need to be comfortable with meeting together again. So yeah, we will be meeting outside on the 26th and asking everybody to maintain uh, the appropriate two meter distance from people that are not in your household or part of your social bubble. As well, ushers will be there to direct you to where we will be gathering on the back lawn. The washrooms will be only available for emergencies. We'll let you decide the necessity for that. Wow, we look great, Olivia. Uh, we want to encourage you to continue to give through e-transfer uh, to giving at thevillagechurch.ca. We're so thankful for everyone's continued financial support, and we're still continuing to support all the great stuff with UB Global through uh, Thailand and Haiti and around the world. Work with Compassion Canada to be able to support them, as well as uh, the local Salvation Army. You can also donate by checks made out to the Village Church mailed to Box 131, Stevensville, Ontario, L0S1S0, or just drop it in the mailbox at the church building if you happen to be dropping by. I was excited to get together and play some music this week that we can worship with. I apologize for the sound quality because I hoped it would be a little bit better. Um, but we're testing stuff out. If you're able to help us in any way with some of the technical stuff of online videos, please send me an email. Bye. As we spend some time singing our love out loud for God, I want to share with you uh, from the Psalms. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Should I fear anyone? The Lord is a fortress protecting my life. Should I be frightened of anything? That's in Psalm 27. Should we fear, we can know the one God who knows all our fears and knows the future. He can be protector. So in the midst of heading into September, we don't know what all these changes will bring or what will even change again. But God is our guiding light, the one who carries us through any storm. So God, please speak to us uh, this morning, and would you give us encouragement and insight and protection in these days? In my wrestling and in my doubts, in my failures you won't walk out your great love will lead me through you are the peace in my troubled sea oh you are the peace in my troubled sea in the silence you won't let go in the questions your truth will hold your great love will lead me through you are the peace in my troubled sea oh you are the peace in my troubled sea my lighthouse my
boats stuck out at sea. The waves grow high, the winds blow strong in your heart. There's a light that's shining, it's never going out. Don't give up, no, don't lose hope. The future's looking bright. Fire before us, you're the brightest. You will lead us through the storms. Fire before us, you're the brightest. You will lead us through the storms. Hey!
1804, President Thomas Jefferson sent Meriwether Lewis and William Clark on the now legendary transcontinental expedition to explore the American West, which is why I am kayaking today. See, he instructed them to search for the fabled Northwest Passage from the Missouri River to the Pacific Ocean, a far cry from Stevensville's Black Creek. But these guys were river rafters and expected that the journey ahead to the west would be the same as what they saw and experienced in the east. But when they reached the Rocky Mountains, what do you think they were thinking? How do you canoe over mountains? <laughs> you don't. If you want to continue forward, you change, you adapt. You see, I remember my first big canoe trip that involved portaging, uh, which is needing to get out of the canoe uh, when the water gets too shallow or the water ends, your waterway ends, and then you carry the canoe to the next spot that there is water to continue on your journey. But what if the water is done? What if your boat becomes useless and you have to ditch it for another way to travel? What if you were a rafter and you have to become a mountaineer? That's the kind of time and season we find ourselves in. The response to the COVID-19 virus has radically changed the landscape of our culture and how we approach life, relationships, shopping, school, even the church. So what do we do? That's the question your leadership team with the Village Church 
uh, has been wrestling with. And we think God is saying it's time for adaptation. You used to be canoers, and now you must become mountaineers. So in order to do that, we have to wait on God and go right to the ancient scriptures to be reminded of who we are, what is the church, and what are we supposed to be doing, and how are we called to live as people who follow Jesus. See, following Jesus is not about going to church services. It's about transformation. In the book uh, of the Bible called Romans, the Apostle Paul was writing to, you guessed it, the Romans, the Roman people from Rome. And he tells them this. He says in Romans chapter 12, don't be conformed to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your minds so that you can figure out what God's will is, what is good, and pleasing and mature. See, another translation uh, says it something like this. So here's what I want you to do. God helping you take your everyday, ordinary life, your sleeping, eating, going to work, and walking around life, and place it before God as an offering. Embracing what God does for you is the best thing that you can do for him. Don't become so well adjusted to your culture that you fit into it without even thinking. Instead, fix your attention on God. You'll be changed from the inside out. Our existence, our plain living is not about getting saved not about going to heaven, it's about changing and becoming more like the people God made us to be. And salvation is only a part of that. It's like a caterpillar turning into a butterfly. We planted herbs this year and found out that caterpillars love parsley. I don't see any in here right now, but we've been watching caterpillars grow huge on these parsley plants but we haven't seen any transformation. That's the whole point of caterpillars getting bigger and cocooning and the whole chrysalis thing, right? Uh, it's for the morphing and the changing into something beautiful. What if we are following Jesus, but nothing changes? Kind of boring, right? Not, that's not really the point. If we were canoeing and we ran into the mountains, what are the choices? Well, we could turn around and go back, but then the adventure's over and we don't get to keep going. We could try harder, I guess, to canoe the mountains, but I don't think that's going to work. Or we can start a new adventure, and that's what we want to do with our tiny village churches. Uh, but we need to reacquaint ourselves with God's plans and purposes for us. You know, another thing Paul the Apostle said to the Romans was this, we know that God works all things together for good for the ones who love God, for those who are called according to his purpose. We know this because God knew them in advance and he decided in advance that they would be conformed to the image of his son. That's in Romans chapter eight. Our purpose is to be more like God's son, to be more like Jesus, to be more like the you that you were supposed to be before sin and a broken world broke us. Remember, if we go all the way back to Abraham, the guy who God chose to let everyone know and experience God, he told him this. He said to Abraham, I will bless you and you will be a blessing to other families. So way back, God in intended to bless us so that we can bless other families. I want to see us do that. I want to do that. So what if you could fulfill the mission you've been given by God to bless other families? Would, would you be up for it? So we're going to take a journey way back and deep dive into a book in the Bible called Acts or Acts of the Apostle. 
uh, apostles so that we can understand a bit more about the early church and see the mission that God is giving you, that he's giving me, that he's giving us. Did you know what the word mission means? It actually means sent. Important stuff we are sent to. Lewis and Clark were sent to find a passage to the Pacific Ocean. That's pretty cool. Our mission is to bless other families and be transformed into something awesome by doing that. That's really cool. Where might this take you? So you see, embracing change and looking to the future looks a lot, looks a lot more like this. Of course, we can say no to adventure. We could not go anywhere at all. We could stay in the same place. But then that ends up looking more something like this. <laughs> Not as exciting, right? Didn't think so. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I totally fell into Black Creek before I found my balance on the boat. I should have gone and done a couple laps before I brought my camera in. Still working though. Now I gotta reach it without falling. 